before we know it. You learn yeah. from last year's celebration, you're going to improve oh, yeah. strides for next year. We have so much feedback from all the different fan sites. Yeah. You guys were great in getting us feedback. Yeah. Um, certainly the fans uh, told us what they were looking for. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the I think the caliber of talent for 17 was some of the best we've ever seen. Oh. Yes. Uh, Felicity Jones and Forrest Whitaker and some unexpected people like Sarah Michelle Geller. Like, yeah. No one ever thought she would have come to any She's convention, netting. never mind. She ever done like, one as a signing? One time before. We were trying to say it was really her first, but like she had been to like one small show during the and that was it. run. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but she's not someone who goes to those things often. No, so some people just aren't into it. And that's perfectly fine. Like we there's nothing in the contracts for these actors that mandate them to either sign autographs or show up for conventions. Yeah. We're thrilled that they do and we're happy to have them on board. Yeah. Um, and we'll continue to invite people to yeah. come back. I'm sure there's lots you know. of names out there the fans keep throwing at you and go, yeah. they just don't want to do it. Yeah, and, and that's unfortunately where we are with like James Earl Jones. You know, yeah. he has retired. He has yes. retired from yeah. signing. He's on Broadway all the time. You can go see a show, go to the stage door and he will wave at you. Um, he's done it, it to me a couple times. Um, and he will not sign anything and that's fine. We've yeah. offered him Frank calls plenty, the same plenty, plenty of good others. deals. Yeah. You know. He signed us for years though, so James Earl Jones does have autograph product out there. I've got one. Um, yeah, and, and it's a it's a tough find now, but yeah. um, he was there for a while, yeah. and yeah. we can't continue to ask people to sign into no. their nineties. You know, so, um, but yeah, some of the familiar names that people are asking about: um, Hayden Christensen, who was there last year for a day and a half. Yeah. we'd love to have him back again. Um, he seemed like really enjoyed it as well. Yeah, he seemed like he had a great show. Yeah, so, and he he certainly sold out very quickly. So yeah, enjoyed, is he there. enjoyed the t shirt. Well, he thing. definitely enjoyed the t shirt. Yeah. yeah, he he. Um, <laughs> once you get people there, I think they don't realize that it's not like the internet. Yeah, um, no. the internet is negative because complaining on Twitter is free. Yes. Yeah. but um, if you're if you pay for a ticket and go to a show and get on a plane and get a hotel room, two for four spend hours to meet thousands them. of dollars on merchandise. Yeah, you're a fan. Yeah, and yeah. you're gonna love it, and you're there to get that t shirt shirt shot at you with a gun by hating Christians. That's it. Um, that's, that's a, what a way to get knocked unconscious. That yeah. sounds like the best way to spend a show. So like that's the kind of thing where you get up on that stage and people are screaming for you yeah. and yeah. and it's not retconning. It's that people really do love those movies. It's just yeah. the people who don't love those movies aren't there. Yeah. So you're seeing the people who um, care about this property. Yeah. They're still sat home complaining how rubbish it is anyway because they've got nothing better to do. Yeah, that, that's the thing. I think that um, the echo chamber of Twitter is just highly negative because yeah. those voices always float to the top. Yep. And you're much more likely, if you experience anything from a customer service perspective, if it's negative, to complain about it. If you have a great experience, you exper you think that that's just supposed to be the standard so you mm. don't talk about it. Yeah. So I know that I do that too. I was like, I'm complaining about something, but all my other experiences have My been coffee fine. was not hot enough. Yeah, and it's like the yeah. other 100 days of the year it was. Um, yeah. But you're going to complain about the one time it went poorly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're not going to experience that at Celebration, I don't think. I mean, People I remember last year. People complain shout louder, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and honestly, like, if you're going to these types of shows, you're looking to have a good time. You want to meet the other fandom That's people. So That's good. my favorite part. We, I'm, we I'm like a fandom. hugging maniac, so yeah. if you see me, like, I'll have a sticker that says free hugs or something. Like, <laughs> I'm, I love meeting the fans um, and, and honestly just hanging out. And yeah. Not that there was time to hang out last year, but getting a well, drink no, at the saw, bar. We saw you last yeah. year afterwards, didn't we, at uh, Disney? Yeah. Yes, I made it to Galactic Night. I was able to jet out just for that. Um, that was my one, we'll call it night off, but I was back at the hotel room um, until the middle of the night working on stuff. Because we were rejiggering our floor plan, yeah. um, reorganizing who was signing, um, getting ready for the next day. And I think you actually probably saw a big experience difference from Thursday to Saturday, like yes. just the changes that were made. So those little things went a long way. Um, and we're working even harder to make sure that for 2019, yeah. it'll be logistically much smoother. Yeah. Yeah. I've done loads of shows over the years, and there's always yeah. speed bumps. Yeah. Every show there's ever been, you've, yeah. you've never, nobody can ever get it right because something will just come out of left field for you. And I've never not waited at a show, yeah. you know, other than it's, being a vendor that yeah. you're able to get in yeah. and walk right through. Yeah. Um, just as a fan, no matter the size Queuing of the show. Queuing is part of it. They're not going to be able to take you and meet David Tennant and take yeah. you by the hand and meet you and let you give him a cut and stuff. Right. It's not how it works. A exactly. There's and a few people there who want the same as you. Yeah, and and it's. I think we're going to have what is it? 50,000 people oh, or something again? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a big venue. Yeah. Um, we're hoping to bring a lot of people to sign autographs. So you're going to um, get me a personal hug with Daisy Ridley, aren't you? With, with who? Daisy Ridley. I don't, I can neither, I can neither confirm or deny who's <laughs> attending the show. Um, but no, in all honesty, we know who people want. So we yeah. are, and in fact, if you guys wanted to run a poll or something, sure. I'm yeah. happy to take your feedback on okay. who, would, who would you like? Maybe we'll we do don't it. know who you want. Yeah. People are telling me they're going to pay $1,000 to meet Natalie Portman just to say, just to get in a photo op, which I thought was crazy. And then everyone else said, was like, nope, that sounds right. Yeah. Like John Boyega's not going to yeah. turn up for 20 quid in a bag of NMs, is he? 
No, um, and, and, and skills going on that. Come on. That's it. That's <laughs> and, the one you see. And luckily, John's been a great signer for us. So yeah. we would love to have him. We'd love to have everyone from the new trilogy. I think that would be really fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, it all depends on schedules and reshoots and who's available. Yeah. Um, but we're we're looking at new talent, yeah. solo talent, resistance talent. Excellent. Obviously, we've got to have some classic guys there. Um, Ball Gullet. So. That's who we need. Ball Gullet. So is, Ball Gullet. that's Tom Wilton yeah. and Derek Arnold, right? Because they both sign autographs for us. Yeah. Um, they're part of the Creature Shop, who I was giving a shout-out to earlier. They're fantastic. Um, I think they're approved as Ball Gullet, so we'll find out. A little request. Okay. Can you get Constable Zuvio, please, for Martin? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh Zuvio. We've tried finding um, out who he is. Martin, has Martin, our cameraman, has a collection of over you 200 do. figures. Oh, oh, You're not the right, Zuvio he's maniac the Zuvio. on Twitter that I follow. Oh, my God, that's you. That's <laughs> 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 right here. But, so congratulations, because I follow all of that. I love it. Um, I don't know who played Constable Zuvio. No, we've asked people internally, and they don't know We have either. put in... So we have to actually request every single character we would like and ask them to give us the actor name associated with it yeah. before we can put it into product. Um, it's how I know who Tom and Derek play, right? Yeah. They're, and they tell, and actually I email direct with them, so they'll sometimes tell me who they're playing once yeah. it's officially allowed to be announced. Um, that is the case for most of the Creature Shop. No one seems to know who Zuvio is. No. Um, aside from the fact that he's not in the film, I, I hate to break it oh, to you. Oh, oh, I know. Uh, uh, I know. Three stills. Three, the, yeah, three, yeah, three stills. Um, I, I believe me, we have a trading card of him. He's he's in our product. Yep. You got the trading um, card? Yeah. I have one of you the trading cards. Trading so so my voice from behind the camera, yes. and he's in three frames, and he's the he's star of the frames. Force He's the star of the film. Force Awakens. That's it. Yeah. He's, he's what? The star of the Force Awakens. Pardon? He's not here. Oh, he's not here. I will say, everyone has that weird character that they love, and yeah. they can't understand why. Yeah, we and love like, Martin. Yeah. Yeah, but that's it. Mark Austin be Mark Austin. Oh, from he's the Boba Fett from yeah. New Hope. If you, you can get Astro. him and Don Beast. Okay, so this he was Don Beast. Fett collector, asking. Oh, all right. Yeah, 20, yeah, far too many yeah. pieces. So Mark was Doctor Bay 94 Fett mm -hmm. in the special edition, and Don Beast was Jedi. Okay. So the extra shots they did in Jedi, him uh, interacting with the dancers, that was Don Beast. Okay, and I think we actually have him credited as Dickie Beer in a lot of shots. Yeah. Um, and, of course, Jeremy. Yeah. So Jeremy and Dickie are really our Bobas from Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Tamora Morrison is now actually approved as the voice of Boba Fett yeah. for all of the redone masters, so we can use him um, yeah. in product. We haven't done that yet. We've only had him as Django, but yeah. I think going forward we'll have him as voice of Boba, so that's something you I mean, might I've, want to look for next year. I've got year. both those autographs, because yeah. I've met Mark a couple of times. He's only ever done, I think Mark's done about five signs so far. Mm -hmm. Don Beast has never done one. If you met sure. Mark, you can send me his info direct, or I'll if you have it. Straight away. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Um, we're ha and that's the thing too. So anyone in the fandom, um, yeah. if there's anyone particularly you'd like to see in trading card product or yeah. for Star Wars Authentics, yeah. send it direct to me. We've yeah. actually brought on people through other fan sites and through other fan connections. So Howie Weed, who played the Wampa, yeah. has been out there for a while, and I believe you were yeah you yeah. were the connecting that's point. Right. Yeah. Um, and so he just signed for Masterwork Good. this year. Oh, fantastic! Um, and I think we put him in archives too. It was a very small number. Yeah. Um, we didn't have a ton of Wampa cards, no. um, but like, well, he was like one in, there then. Yeah, we, we were able to put him in Masterwork, which was great. Yeah. One final thing before we let you go. Yeah. Um, 20th anniversary, Phantom Menace, which yeah. we just mentioned. Ahmed Best, any potential for Ahmed? I love him. So, um, yes, there's always potential, um, and yes, we would love to have him. Um, I think, in a, I've actually said this to a couple other people, I think what makes him so interesting is he's got this one-man show coming out yeah. that none of us have seen yet, but I yeah. it's supposed to be spectacular. Um, he's going to reflect on the last 20 years. And he went through um, the hell of social media before there was social media. Yeah. Yeah. So he must have experienced it in real life, which sounds almost more terrifying. Yeah. So if we think about what happened to poor Kelly Marie Tran and like the yeah. unacceptable state of the fandom when something like that yeah. happens, yeah. imagine it happens to your face um, while you're doing something so groundbreaking. Yes. So he is someone, and I've said this before too, so if, you, if, if it seems like I'm repeating stuff, this bears repeating. He is as important to motion capture acting as Andy Serkis. Yes. Please don't forget that. Don't overlook him. Um, I think it's a healthy mix of uh, racism and um, people not liking Jar Jar Binks that he gets yeah. overlooked. It's so yeah. sad and unfortunate. Um, he was an actor. He was employed. Yeah. He was directed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, He didn't create the character. He brought I, life to the character. And I like the character. It's fun. Yeah. It's for kids. It's for kids. Yeah. So, and there will always be those pieces of like this, yeah. the fandom that are not for you. Resistance isn't aimed at 45-year-old middle-aged no, men. No, it's fun. <laughs> I like those ships. And I actually yeah. think that like I look at Griff and I see Steven Stanton and I was like, yeah. oh, well, that's for all of them. That's for me. That's for me. Um, but it was not, but, that isn't the target audience. Right. Just because you're a Star Wars fan and you're watching it, you aren't the target audience for that cartoon. Yeah, and that's that the thing, movie. the saga's so broad now. Like George made fan of Destiny. Destiny. Yeah, that um, was it. 
And with that, I think Jar Jar is is still a beloved character mm. by a lot of people who are maybe our age, maybe, and certainly sure. the new generation that came in. And Ahmed would be really interesting. So yeah. my seven year old is hilarious. Yeah. yeah, oh, he's very yeah. funny, and he's a great actor. Um, I'm di- one. I'm dying to see that show. Yes. Um, and I would I would think that if I could if I were planning programmatic, so I'm not talking autographing right now. Yeah. If I were planning programmatic for a 20th anniversary or any type of show, mm. I would have a cut down version, like you know how James Earl Taylor does the half an hour version That's of his one man yeah. show. Yeah. Get that going. Uh, that would be the biggest crowd you would draw. That would be these, other than like the trailer review. Reveal, reveal. Let's hope Mary Frank is like, listening. And she might be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, thanks for your time. Yeah. Really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Great seeing you. Oh, Thank always. you guys thanks for coming all the way over here just to see me. Just to see you. That was it. Yeah. yeah. Forget New York Comic Con. It was a comic couple of days ago. We did fill in time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we did that fill in time before we met you. Excellent. So you can find all of Top Star Wars trading cards in your local hobby hobby store or comic book shop or direct on tops.com. If you're overseas, like you guys are in the UK, so we are overseas, foreigners, yeah. <laughs> overseas not meaning meaning non US, um, non United States, we have Tops Direct. So a lot of those collections are up there now. You can find Star Wars Archive signatures, Galactic Files, Masterwork is on there, Galaxy and Gal- Galaxy and Finest will be coming a little bit later this year. And if you're looking for Star Wars Authentics, autographs, and official photos, you can find it at StarWarsAuthentics.com. And you can save 10% with code SWA Solo.